All right, boys, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry about this one. I may have gotten this video idea from um, YouTube Thoughts. I'm pretty sure this is totally a girl video. I, I've definitely seen on my trending page some chicks doing like assumptions about me. And it's always like, I assume you're, I assume you get with all the boys. <laughs> So I may possibly be completely robbing thought video ideas, but I'm not playing Madden, so sue me. Now, I put it on my Instagram story. Let's go find it. Also, let me just say that my Instagram story today was absolutely hilarious. Um, my mom gave like a whole ass monologue about how we shouldn't jewel. Wait, All right, I update. I don't know Peer if you pressure got to me audio. and I hit the jewel one time and my peen decreased in size by four inches. Worst decision of my life, we'll never do it again. That's actually a fact. I never ever hit the jewel because jewel is not cool. Hit it one time, my peen went from five to one, like that. So if you're gonna hit the jewel, be ready. Like, hit the jewel, peen size. You make your own decisions, friends, but that's all I'm saying. She Good? goes on, a, she, she says how metal gets in your lungs. I know this is a tangent, but she's hilarious. You have to see this. Yeah, serves me right. Serves me right. You know what? Bad things about it. Right. Bad Don't you, not cool. Alright, thank you for that, mama. Alright, but what this video is about, I told you guys, yeah, I know, the picture is really douchey, I'm really sorry. I asked you to send your assumptions of me for a video, and we're gonna read what you guys assume about me, because I'm a stupid ins- I'm even sitting on the casting couch like a true thought. Tell me this doesn't- Okay, that's why I put this blanket here, because tell me. Tell me this ain't the casting couch. Not that I know what that is, nor have I watched literally every single video on it. I might need to sanitize this thing before I make another video. Stinks! Yo, by the way, I get a question about this like every single day because people want my music on Spotify. I haven't, I don't have a lot of good playlists right now, but my Spotify account, pretty sure my Spotify account's Matthew Maher. I'll make some playlists for you guys if you wanna like listen to certain types of music. People always ask me for this, it's kinda random, but sorry, I need to start this video already. Pretty much only been listening to Lana Del Rey though. For being honest. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I know that about 90% of these are gonna be talking about my cock. <laughs> All right, let's read. Let's read some assumptions. Guy who pulls absolute thoughts as well as pulling Tory Holtz. You're more chill and calm IRL and act energetic for better videos. Very true. However, I'm kind of a head ass in real life too. Anyone who knows me in real life knows I'm, I'm probably worse. I say a lot stupider and weirder shit, which I keep off my videos because I don't want you all to think I'm just an absolute goobus. This dude is the homie, SR Guest 15 He actually like recreated my merch picture. Recreated the merch picture, has the nut button, Fire dabbed on the rocks like me and Jameson did in Croatia and hit a mean ass whoa. Guys is stuck. Can't, this is, if you guys didn't know, if you guys remember Justin bro, this is his Instagram. Can't PK PVM get an infernal cape or last a full inventory at Red Cape without dying to PKers? I'm gonna say about 95% of you don't get that reference and if you don't, that's totally okay. But if you do, my OSRS username is Papa Pubes, hit me up. Kaylee is your sister. What a knee slap! Oh, that's so funny! Is that focusing on me? Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Rich white kid runs a YouTube channel while his parents pay for college. Yeesh! People try to become friends with you because you have clout. Sometimes I do wonder that, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, I'm like, wait, I don't have any friends. So how could they like me for my clout if I don't have any? Best Madden YouTuber ever except for your boy pizza, blocked. You're absolutely blocked. <laughs> A rich boy, get those AirPods out of, ah shit, you can't hear me, you have AirPods in. Dude, what is this thing with the AirPods? Okay, this is dead serious. What is this big old, like, why does everyone think someone's clouding up on you if they're wearing AirPods? People have been wearing Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. What? And the Beats Studios. Beats Studios are 300 and Bose Quiet Comforts are 300. AirPods are like 180. So I don't know where this thing came from, but I always wear those. Yeah, you're getting double flexed on at this point. But I always wear those Bose Quiet Comforts when I record Madden so I can't hear myself. And no one says shit about that. And now I wear AirPods one time and everyone wants you get peer pressured by your mom to jewel, even though it ain't cool. Mom, if you're watching this video, if you ever peer pressure me to jewel again, I'll... I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I really don't know what I could say to my own mother, but jeweling isn't cool. You were a senior virgin. 
Honestly, boys, as much as I may be an absolute unit now, I'm not gonna tell you guys, sir, me losing my virginity. Definitely not. That's not appropriate, at least now. But I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty close to being a, a virgin senior year of high school. If that makes you feel any better about yourselves. Actually, Jules, but says you don't. I would never jewel. 100% <laughs> tells people after threatening them that my dad is a lawyer. Wanna hear something hilarious? Like dead serious? My dad is actually a lawyer. I would never say this to anyone. I would never like say that to someone being serious. But he actually is a lawyer, so that counts for anything. <laughs> Lightweight? You think I'm 6'5", 245 and a lightweight still? That's not even how it works, bro. I am a total lightweight. I mean, I just turned 21, so I just had my first ever sip of alcohol, so obviously I'm a lightweight, right, mom? Show this to my mom. Everyone send this to my mom. Alcohol's bad, mom. <laughs> these are so sus. I... <laughs> None of these are appropriate enough to read. You act completely different on camera than in real life. This is like vaguely true, but vaguely not. It's hard to explain. I think a lot of people assume that YouTubers act different on camera, but I don't think you realize how hard it is, unless you're literally playing a character. Like, you know those people who, who have yeah, characters, yeah. they're actually acting as someone else? You don't know how hard it is to be two different people. It would be very difficult for me to be a different person on camera than I am in real life, because you can't act for that long, especially when you're recording like gameplay videos. So I'm very, if you ever meet me in real life, I will <laughs> be pretty damn close to what you see on camera. I promise you. By the way, if you ever see me in real life, please, no matter what I'm doing, come say hi. Like some people are kind of weird about that. I don't know, but like, I don't care what I'm doing. You can totally come say hi. You will not be bothering me. I will gladly like say what's good. Dude, the amount of these that say I'm 6'5", 245 is unreal. That person who plays basketball and has all the gear but none of the talent. I kind of want to make a one-on-one -on -one basketball vid, so if any of you are in the Grand Rapids area, hit me up. I did not think that you were a kicker. I know, it's like the lamest position, but it's also the coolest position. You know what I mean? Shout out d Strong, by the way. My fucking boy got signed by a legitimate pro team. That is the coolest thing ever. Congratulations, bro. That's nuts. You're a Chad who glowed up and became the classic frat boy. Honestly, definitely glowed up in my opinion, but I think everybody thinks they glowed up because that's what puberty is supposed to do for you, presumably. I don't know if you guys watched the vlog, but before I got my ear surgery, I had really bad acne and before the ear surgery, I was a cornball. You will have an IG thought daughter. Honestly, that's my biggest fear. And please don't ever say that to me again because I am so scared of that happening. Dude, imagine you are a father and you work so hard with your wife to raise a daughter and then she turns into Summer Rae. Like... I didn't edit for you a long time ago. Never heard from you again. Ouch, I hit home. I gotta send you a message, I'm sorry, man. I assume your boy Pizza let you win. Here's the thing, guys. You know damn well he was trying just as hard as I was in that game. That was a legit game. Can easily bench 650 pounds. Wanna hear something sad? I think right now I can probably bench more than I can squat. It's real sad. When you are near, I quiver in my shoes because my girl's stud sensor just went through the roof. Look, boys, I would never steal your thought. Ever. We're, we're homies now. I would never do that to you. I wish he would come back into my life as my father. Bro, I'm going to get milk and I will be right back. The milk store was completely out of milk. Two more years down the road is another milk store. I'll go two years that way, get the milk, come two years back, I'll be back. No, I didn't say anything, Siri, you stupid thought. Smasher Pass Boy Edition. I'll be honest, I really wanted to make another Smasher Pass, but now that I am actually working for Pepsi with this internship, I feel like it would just not be in my best interest to make a, I feel like that's a very inappropriate video. And it was funny and I liked making it, you know, three years ago, but I like, I feel like that's just not a good idea. Looks happy on the, whoa! Looks happy on the inside, but your soul is slowly dying because you miss Bella. Honestly, all of my videos are a massive cry for help. Bella, I miss you so much. Actually, that ass, she texted me one time. She was like, hey, can you stop talking about me in your videos? And I was like, come on. Like, I was like, come on. It's part of my life, the whole channel. It's a meme now. Like, you signed up for this. But I should probably respect that. <laughs> An honest YouTuber doesn't hide anything. Did I just read a legitimate 
comment that was nice? You secretly steal your mom's jewel at night and hit it. You meant spying on me or something, dude? That photo was your first time shaving. Bro, I can't grow a beard. I hate it. I just get this stupid... I hate it. I hate it so much. I want a glistening, like, oh. That you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because... Best YouTuber out there, not just Madden. Love you, guy. You have stubs for thumbs. Papa is gone. Okay, I posted one picture. Why do you guys think my thumbs are... I have regular ass thumbs. I'm so mad about this. I posted one picture where my thumb looked kind of weird at the... I'm really self-conscious about this. My thumbs are normal. Oh, brother. What do your, what do your thumbs look like? Fight me. Aren't you the type of guy whose EA password is cheat clapper 69? Dude, don't hack all my accounts. Chill out. I thought you were gonna be short, but then I realized you were actually 6'7". The funniest thing is when people do meet me in real life, first thing, first thing I would say about 50% of people who have met me in real life go, they go, oh, you're not 6'5". Worst story ever, oh my God. This is, I, this is one of the most embarrassing things ever. Okay, we all, okay, yes, I'm 6'5", 245. Obviously I'm not 6'5", 245, but we get that it's a joke, right? Well, everyone comments it on my Instagram pictures and Girls don't really watch my YouTube. Like, girls that I go to school with and go to MSU with, obviously they don't watch my YouTube channel. I mean, like, some of them do, but like, I make this content for you guys. I don't make it for them. Like, they watch beauty gurus and shit. I was going to Chicago once for Lollapalooza, and this girl that I really vaguely knew, I did not know her that, that well, said that I could, like, stop at her house before I went to Lala for, like, whatever, two hours just to, like, drop all my stuff off because it's, like, a four-hour drive. That part doesn't matter. Basically, I was stopping by this girl's place. I didn't know her that well. And oh, this is the worst. I like don't even want to tell the story. It's so embarrassing. She legitimately thought that I was going to be 6'5. You're insane! Because of all my Instagram comments. And I'm obviously not fucking 6'5. <laughs> it was a very she was like, pretty sure the first dude, this is the fattest owl I've probably ever taken. Out. She was <laughs> the first thing she said to me was like, I thought you were super tall. Oh my god, you know, I played it off like a champ, but if you want to make the 6'5 jokes, do it. But if your sisters or anything ever ask, let them know I'm not actually 6'5. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know you that well, but I see you in the hallways at school. Rate 7. That's fucking funny. You never dated a black chick, sorry Matt. Not true. Absolutely not true, totally did. Get wrecked. Do some Dragon Ball Z shit for June and July. What does that mean? This guy's assumption is fishing. All white people don't love fishing, but I do love fishing. So, embrace some stereotypes. My sister is obsessed with you. <laughs> Mission accomplished, boys! I can log off! I feel as if you're the type of person to go get milk and actually come back! So I was saying before, I'm on my way back, give me a few years. All right, I'm ending on this one because this is so cute. The man I aspire to be as I grow older. Love you, Papa. Adler Johnson, love you too, man. Stay strong. You got this, boy. All right, boys, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video off there. This was, an, this was a blast. This is what I've been yearning for. I'm feeling a lot better. Didn't have to make a Madden video. Didn't have to sit down and get all pissed off about EA doing something to me today, so. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll make tons more content like this. I'm trying to post, I probably won't, but I'm trying to post like five days a week. So if you wanna shoot me some suggestions, I would love them because this world of YouTube where I don't make Madden videos four days a week is kinda new to me. So it'd be awesome if you gave me some suggestions. But that is it for now. I love you all. Thank you for sticking with me. Despite not posting Madden, that is so like, mm. Stay strong, don't jewel, get good grades, get jacked, uh, get women. That's closing notes. Have fun, boys, I love you. Peace out.